recruitment. Nobody is eliminated. And I have another win. I feel fabulous. Can we just take a minute to congratulate Miss Safira on her second win? Yeah. Congrats, Safira. And congratulations, Morphine, on getting to lip sync. Ah, I hate that you won. What, you got a problem? I got a problem. I got a problem. What? I got what a problem. About I got a problem. <laughs> Finally being in the top only to lose in a lip sync, I am angry. I definitely feel like I should have won, period, point blank, dot com, Dupree. So I don't want her to feel good about her win, okay? Is that so wrong? Is it wrong for me to like make her not happy? God. Speaking of sisterhood, you gave your immunity to Nick I did, yeah. yes. Thank you, Pony. In a moment of sisterly love. Yes. I decided to give this immunity potion to Nymphia because she is actually a girl that I really enjoy. And also, I was thinking, if I knock a bottom bitch off that runway, perhaps that'll leave Q and Dawn in the bottom. Do you wish you had used it on yourself? No. You know what? At the end of the day, I didn't end up needing it. I don't know. Tonight, I would qualify as a bottom for you. I don't recall myself being, you know, announced the bottom three, proclaimed the bottom three in front of the world. <laughs> you live on another planet, bitch. Plane was in the bottom. That is absolutely roll the footage back. Plain Jane, this week you were slightly overpowered by Nymphia. Plane was called last in the judging. We all know what that means. That bitch was not even bottom two, she was bottom one. Plain, listen, baby, we all have bad nights. This wasn't a bad night for me. It seems uh, like it is. You're, not, you're very upset. The notion that I was in the bottom. Do you see this? Do you see Yeah, this? I see it. It's a boring, sparkly dress. Get her okay, going. so you want to. Okay. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her going. Can I be honest? I'm having a lot of fun getting a little rise out of Miss Plainy at the moment. So you want to do this right now? <laughs> yeah, so I'll let's do it, baby. Do I'll do it. Let's Come on. do this. This is a boring dress. You're wearing rags from kids' bedroom. No, bitch. baby. But yes, my, you but are. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. You look a fool. You no. look a fool. Do do clown mess. You're so obsessed with concept. You know, this is gorgeous. No, this is all concept and no gorgeousness. You're a creature from the Black Lagoon that needs to go back into the depths. Plain Jane is that porcelain skin is cracking. She is pissed. Ugh. Maya, say me, these bitches crazy, Maya. <laughs> these bitches crazy, Maya. I'm just, I'm just saying it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous counts. Gorgeous, gorgeous well. counts. These queens want so badly to see me flop, but it's just not happening. Sorry, girls, you know, my track record is still squeaky clean, and you can all suck it. I have never seen anybody get plain like that. The way you were shook. You thought I was gonna let a bitch read me? A bitch looking like that? <laughs> Tensions are high. All of us are like this right now. We're like, we're like so close to the top four. Any little thing will struck a nerve. And I am here for it, honey. Justice for morphine love, you know, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race receives a one-year supply of Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmetics and a gag-worthy grand prize of $200,000 served by Cash App with extra special guest judge Joel Kim Booster. It is a new day in the workroom, and there are still seven of us. Are we still annoyed that we're still seven of us? Because I am. Damn, bitch, let a bitch sit down first. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so silly, no. Ooh, she's struggling. Come on, fat mom. <laughs> <laughs> you need help. Oh. Having seven was cute last week. Unity, quality, kumbaya. But I'm trying to win $200,000 in a crown, so these bitches got to go. It was nice knowing you, Nifia. <laughs> You said it was nice knowing him. What are you talking you? about, Miss Maya? The next. <gasps> are you sure? You haven't seen my full capability. I mean, all I've seen is bananas. It's a quiet fight, you guys. <laughs> it's, it's, we might need <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> we might need subtitles for the whispers of the season. Hello, hello, hello! Oh, oh with the surprise. <laughs> Ladykins, drag is a sisterhood. So at this point in the competition, I 
want to see how well you know each other and yourselves. Oh. So for today's mini challenge, we're going to play a little game we call Spill the Tea. <laughs> <laughs> Served by Cash App. Ooh, Spill the Tea. This should be good. OK, now here's how Spill the Tea works. I ask a question, like, who's the prettiest queen? Then you all vote for yourself or one of your fellow queens. Now, each time your answer matches the majority, you get $100. In the end, the queen with the most money wins. Queen, you ready? Yes. Yes, Mama. Let's spill the tea. First question, which queen is the most passive aggressive? <laughs> okay, paddles up. Nymphia is the most <laughs> passive aggressive. <laughs> I know I'm a passive aggressive person, but I didn't know everyone knew that. So I should have voted myself. God damn it. Plain Q and Sephira each get $100. Ooh. Ooh. Question number two. Which queen is most likely not to know what passive-aggressive means? <laughs> <laughs> Morphine is the least likely to know. In fact, Morphine voted for herself. <laughs> Which queen are you most likely to block online? Paddles up. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone voted for plain Jane, <laughs> except for plain Jane. <laughs> Which queen is the flirtiest? <gasps> oh my goodness, it's unanimous. Which queen is the gassiest of the bunch? Paddles up. Dawn is the gassiest <laughs> queen. Man. Let's check on the scoreboard. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Next question. Which queen is the most likely to blame the edit? <laughs> oh. hmm. Paddles up. Ooh, Morphine is the queen most likely <laughs> to blame the edit. Rot it. Which queen is most likely to spend her $200,000 grand prize wisely? Ooh, Safira. Next question. Which queen is most likely to blow her $200,000 <laughs> on latex breastplates? <laughs> OK, paddles up. Plain Jane. <laughs> <laughs> that means the majority get $100,000 each. Oh, wait, what? Yes! <laughs> I'm <laughs> Not $100,000, bitch. $100. Next question. If you're performing for your drag sisters, which queen do you trust to give you the biggest tip? Just the tip, ladies. Oh my goodness, it's unanimous again. Safira. All right, final question. Which queen is the most delusional? <laughs> now, this is gonna be very difficult for you. You have to think long and hard. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Plain J. Huh? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> me? Certainly not me, honey. Dawn is the most delusional for thinking that my outfit wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> bitches! <laughs> okay, queens, with $900, the winner of today's mini challenge is... Safira. <laughs> Congratulations. You've won an additional $2,500 cash tip served by Cash App, ching, ching. which takes your total winnings to $3,400. Oh, I win that money, too? Ooh. Yes. That's money, honey. <laughs> $3,400 for spilling the tea? That's not a bad gig, honey. Call me CMZ. And yes, the rest of you get to keep your cash Ladykins, the Human Resources Department has asked me to make a very important announcement. This week is Drag Awareness Month. So for this week's Maxi Challenge, I want you to come up with your own silly and sickening Drag Awareness Employee Seminars. Oh, I do have experience in hosting. 
but uh, an informative speech. Mm. Now you'll be working as teams. Q, Plain Jane, your topic is, do you know your drag history? <laughs> Maya and Dawn, your topic is drag in the workplace. And I do mean work. <laughs> Safira, Nymphia, Morphine. Your topic is, are you a drag queen? You might be surprised. Ladykins, this is your chance to be ambassadors of confusion, unemployment, <laughs> nerve, <laughs> and telekinesis. <laughs> Racist, start your engine. And may the best drag queen win. <laughs> <laughs>go for the mecca of gay it's right here and you know that's right so make sure you click to subscribe so you never miss a thing